welcome back to my channel my name is Tanisha aka Mish it has been a long time don't know why I'm doing this since I have been here on YouTube and the reason is that life has just been life -ing. if you can't tell I'm a little bit tan oh okay this lighting is rude I think the last video that you'll see on my channel was the collaboration that I did with my friend Aliyah I have vlogged as in like I have filmed content, so much content and have just decided to do away with it because I don't know, I just got stuck in my head <laughs> with self-comparison, self-doubt, negative self-talk, all the things that you know I try to like encourage others about except I seem to be stuck when it comes to doing the same for myself. So I leaned more into doing mini vlogs on Instagram and TikTok. TikTok I'm still trying to figure out but whatever it's fun I don't take it too seriously Instagram is Instagram that platform it just oh, I'm in a love-hate relationship with that platform basically anyway boring um so yeah that's kind of why there hasn't been so much in the way of content for me across social media really I'm still on Instagram I'm there all the time I'm in stories reposting links are available for everyone now so I link a lot of stuff I haven't done a shop talk in a while I'm not sure what the next one will be but the career shop talk is ready to go. So if you want that be sooner rather than later, leave a comment down below and let me know and I will get that out. What else is there to update you on? John and I went to the Caribbean with my family. Unfortunately, my grandmother passed away. So we went there to lay her to rest and we had two and a half weeks there with a lot of our family. Um, and we have a lot of family in Anguilla. So it was like a sad reason to go, but we had a really lovely trip anyway. And yeah, I've just been laying low, trying to practice self-care as much as possible. And I've been doing a lot of yoga. I got class passed probably in July last year and I've been loving it. You saw a little morning montage. I did also just go out. <laughs> um, I just went to shoot this. Um, I'll insert a clip of me wearing it here. This is from Zara. I got it in the sale before I went on holiday. Um, it's um more of a spring piece, this really, really nice orange knit uh, vest. And I have it on with a white Oxford shirt from H&M and black Levi jeans. And these boots are also Zara. Yeah, um, I'm back. I did just take some stuff to the secondhand shop. Um, I used to live right above it and they have a new location on Homerton High Street now. So I took some stuff there and I will quickly show you what I got. Everything still has the tags on because I literally just got home. The first thing I got was this... Um, knitted men's cardigan i thought it was wool but it actually feels like acrylic but that's fine i'm just trying to see the i almost said ingredients <laughs> i meant um fabrication oh it's 100 percent acrylic good to know it's a little bit big for me it's men's so i'm going to style it off the shoulder i need another pair of jeans like a hole in the head but i got these cool mom jeans with these darts in the front but old pair of edwin jeans that are similar cut with two different fabrics one different on the front and back but they're actually starting to get a little bit short and i think that's just because you know i've washed them a few times i've been wanting a plain black belt i've got the gucci double g belt which i love but it's just not always appropriate so yeah this is really cool it's just this plain black belt from all saints with this double thingy here and this plain like what's the word I don't know what the word is. Gunmetal grey. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to get back on my computer and maybe start editing this vlog. I don't know what I'm going to get up to this weekend. I might book an exhibition ticket, but hopefully this will be a bit of a like update vlog, like chill morning routine, some things that I got in. Um, I don't really have anything planned, but yeah, I just really wanted to get back into the habit of vlogging and being on YouTube because I do want to make this work. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more and I will let you know what I get up to. <laughs> ah, you can see everything. Okay, this this looks like it's straight. I've been fussing with it for <laughs> a whole minute. Hi, happy Saturday. Today is Saturday the 12th of February. Um, I need to stop doing finger guns in videos because it's really annoying. What did I do today? I woke up quite late. I'm still so jet lagged. And yesterday was a really early start. So today I needed to catch up for sure. But I wanted to talk to you about some of my favourites that I've been enjoying over the last few months, but especially these last like two months. As you know, I travelled to Anguilla. Um, so there is 
some skin bits that I've been loving and there's quite a few fashion bits so let me just quickly do this while I have the light it's currently about four and it's still so light outside this evening I'm going to the cinema I'm going to see House of Gucci um, since I've been back I've just been really trying to like find something to do an exhibition but nothing's really been like grabbing me and I remembered that I really wanted to see House of Gucci and it's on at the Selfridges cinema at a decent time everywhere else was really late so yeah that's what I'm gonna do tonight but let's quickly go through these favorites the first thing that I've been loving are these leggings just black stretchy leggings from Bear Boutique Bear is an Australian brand and the founder is uh, very good friends with my friend Kirby and she very kindly sent me some stuff ages ago like maybe the end of 2020 I've been using these for yoga but as I've been commuting to and from yoga obviously in my workout gear I've just kind of realized that leggings are actually super comfortable and we are going to be wearing them as pants again I haven't done this probably in about 10 years um it used to be my jam like leggings and a band t-shirt I'm definitely bringing that back this summer and I've been loving wearing them with things like this this is an oh 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 this is an old jumper from Edwin from when I used to work there and they had a women's wear line I actually had to turn down the cuff because it was too short for me and it's been that way for years and I finally did it and the difference that it makes I can't even tell you but I have really long arms and yeah I love this I've just got a plain Uniqlo U t-shirt underneath and I'm going to wear it with these boots which I'll show you in a second the next thing that I've been loving is this blazer it's like a beige and navy blue um, tweed it's actually from there was a CNA label in here here is the CNA uh, label I don't know if Westbury was an in-house CNA brand, but CNA was a department store, kind of like, maybe more like Marks and Spencers, but like not as nice. And yeah, it was here in the UK. The only place I ever see it now randomly is in Germany, in a charity shop in Hackney. And I think I paid 10 pounds for it. I've been loving that, like over things like this, with this knit and leggings, with um, a turtleneck and leggings and like tall boots it's been my go-to and because it's tweed it's like wool and it's warm and it's so nice and there's literally not a stitch wrong with it it's such such a nice blazer and it has padding in the shoulders but it's not too big I was a bit worried about the warm beige and the navy but actually it's such a nice combination and to be honest with you it just looks black I'm not someone that wears navy but yeah I will make an exception for that blazer because it was such a good steal next i've been loving oxford shirt this is one from zara that i got before i went on holiday it's 100 percent cotton hence why it's a little bit wrinkly i have worn it once since i'm um, i washed it and ironed it when i got back but i love this buttons start quite low down and i got it in a large so it just works as like a really nice beach cover up but i've actually been loving it as a extra layer in the winter since I've been home. Never thought I would gravitate towards Oxford shirts as much as I have since last summer and because the buttons stuck quite low down so I wear it like open and off my shoulders so the collar's actually at the back it's not up here. Next I've been loving baseball caps. I've always worn hats. Um, my hair really needs doing. <laughs> I've got like three inches of regrowth. I haven't had my roots touched up since August but I've got an appointment on Friday which I'm very much looking forward to. This Nike one is a classic it's very old it's a cool wash black it's a very london thing to like see these hats with the nike tick on the side if you're from london you know what i'm talking about this is from disciple this is one of my favorites it says obituary on it obituary are a a death metal band who I've loved forever. I love camo and I love safety orange. These two I got recently in Anguilla. I got this cool black and orange one and then there's this green one which just had AXA on it and again the coordinates. This is the bag that I'm gonna take with me today and it is just a little kind of nylon take on the row banana bag from Uniqlo. This was 12 pounds and as you can see it holds so much in it. I traveled with this had kept my passport all my covid paperwork all my like approval for entry whatever whatever i've got so much in here as you can see already um sunglasses painkillers airpods hand sanitizer perfume um this is another favorite actually i'll get to that in a sec nasal spray because does anyone get else get really dry nostrils when they fly it actually hurts so I always carry nasal spray and also this is good for an issue that I have with one of my ears. Hygienic wet wipe. <laughs> when I 
showed it ages ago on my Instagram stories. It was sold out. If I can find another color, I'll link it down below. As it was just in my hand here, another favorite of these AirPod Pros. I upgraded my phone to the iPhone 13 Pro Max and um, I was able to like add these as well. So I just did that. John bought a pair, so I've had to put these cute little like glossier stickers on the front and back just so that I know that they're mine. I kind of had them on all the time when I'm at home working, when I'm on calls. When I'm at home, I don't know where my phone is, but when I'm at home, I put on my audiobook. Um, I use Audible just because I have an Amazon account. And at the moment, I'm listening to Andre Leon Talley's In the Chiffon Trenches. These are also noise cancelling. So my ears are quite sensitive, and um, when I'm on the tube, there's nothing more maddening than like shrieking. This doesn't like completely block that out, but it does help a lot. Blocks out like any bullshit on the tube, um, or the overground, like people talking, people listening to their music without headphones. I don't know why people do that, but they do. Onto Audible, I've been loving uh, Andre Leon Talley book. I listened to a book about Gucci by Sarah Gray. I'll insert the cover here somewhere, I forget what it's called, but I just finished that. And what else did I listen to? Uh, the Body Keeps the Score, Healing the Vegas Nerve, which has been really good in helping me understand how I've been feeling um, and why I'm having like such a hard time with anxiety at the moment. I uh, will list everything that I've listened to on Audible down below. Another thing I've been loving are these Chelsea's, they're in the wrong hand. <laughs> these Chelsea boots from Zara and I'm gonna wear them today. Got another pair of like faux takers or no takers from Zara and they were quite affordable but I actually really like these. These are made from leather. The other ones are quite heavy. These ones aren't quite so heavy to wear. They're both comfortable but I actually just have really been loving these and have been reaching for these more since they came in. Another pair of shoes are these um, New Balance 530s. Those were sent to me by New Balance PR. I received them ages ago, ages and ages ago. But honestly, like, sorry, a bit overexposed. Honestly, through the pandemic, I've worn them so much. They're so comfortable. And they're actually starting to get a little hole here. And I don't even care. I'm still going to wear them. Um, Some beauty bit. The Glow Sunscreen from Supergoop. I've seen so many influencers talk about this and I didn't even realise it was glow sunscreen. I just thought it was sunscreen. I really like it. It doesn't leave me with a blue cast on my face. I didn't realise it had shimmer. So one day John did put it on and he's an oily guy. And to be honest, I didn't notice that it made him like extra oily or dewy. It's a really nice texture. It doesn't feel heavy. Like sunscreen can feel heavy on the face. Not with that one. Um, also loved taking the Malin and Getz deodorant <laughs> this is the eucalyptus and yeah i use this deodorant anyway so having this was super handy to travel with this is penhaligon's how fetty in travel size actually i'm going to spray it now so nice how fetty is rich it's warm it's sweet smells like luxury and wealth if you want to smell rich wear how fetty i went to the store in covent garden there's one like just outside of Covent Garden Market. Because of COVID and everything, they had super long lines and I had to wait a while. But I really just wanted to smell it and like see if they had samples. The lady was so appreciative that I waited. I asked for a sample and I, of course, offered to pay for it. And she was like, well, if you want, I will, this is the travel size and I will fill it for you for 25 pounds versus a full size Halfetti, which is I think about 150 maybe 170 i'm not sure 25 pounds versus like over 100 no brainer what else have i been loving the anastasia beverly hills brow pomade i forget what it's actually called but um this has been so good my brows are thick and i do fill my brows in i just haven't done them yet i will do them with you what is that oh my god what is that oh my god what is that just been filling in with this maybe sometimes a bit of brow flick from glossier and then i put this i swipe it on the back of my hand and then just run it through my brows and it helps them stay up and they look really nice one more favorite <laughs> is my luggage from antler so antler kindly sent me some luggage back in august i think and i used the smallest case um for like a couple of uk trips that i had and this trip to anguilla i took 
everything with us so john had one i had the biggest one and then i had the smallest one for my hand luggage and it was perfect it's super hard wearing um it's obviously scuffed up because that stuff just gets thrown around in the hold but yeah i really really like this case it fits so much and was easy to maneuver and it, the wheels move 360 which is one of my favorite features time to do my brows i'm going to show you my outfit and then we are going to go and get something to eat and go to the cinema I had caffeinated coffee today and let me tell you, your girl is now affected by caffeine. So I'm gonna do my brows here. I'm just gonna brush them up. Fuck, my brow is just finished. Okay, I have to get a new one. Good thing I'm going to Selfridges because they have ABH there. I follow the shape underneath. Sorry if you can see up my nose right now. I don't know what it looks like. I think it looks terrible because <laughs> the pencil's practically finished, but just gonna brush it through anyway. I'm gonna take brow freeze, a little bit on my finger, wipe it on the back of my hand, and then take the spoolie and pick up the product that way. All battery slashing, that'll be my cue. Okay, that's what we're doing. I'm going to quickly show you my outfit and then we are going to go. This is the jumper from Edwin that I am wearing. I need to debobble it. These are the Bear Boutique leggings that I showed you. They're just super comfy. They are high-waisted. These socks are just black ones from Uniqlo and in the men's section. And these are the Zara boots that I was telling you about. I'm going to wear it with my Ganny coat. I don't know where my phone is to check the temperature. Am I gonna wear the Ganny coat? Yes, because I'm getting the tube. I'm gonna wear the Ganny coat and my Snud and be on my way. Hello. Um, I think I'm, I am on a street that begins with W, I forget what it's called. Oh, it's really cold and my, oh shit, I left my snood in Bone Daddy's. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> With my snit, it was just there on the floor. Um, yeah, I am just on the street behind Oxford Street, heading into the Selfridges. Have an hour to kill before I need to be in there for the movie. So I'm gonna look around, see what's in store, make sure I go to the loo because I have to sit for two hours. And I'll show you what it's like in the cinema, hopefully, if it's not too. Intrusive. Oh, the street is Wigmore Street, by the way. But yeah, it was a good movie. And now I'm just headed home. Um, but there's tube strikes and no overground, so I don't know how I'm gonna get home, but I'm gonna figure it out. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you can hear me. Um, wishing everybody a happy February and happy Valentine.